hope you made lots of spaghetti. Hello, Peter the Cat here. I'm still in my stitch pajamas that I wore for Halloween. Um, I decided to finally make another video after several months to react to the big news. Chris Pratt is now going to be the voice of Garfield in the Elkin Entertainment Garfield movie. Now, this movie was first announced in, like, uh, 2016, and then we didn't really hear much news about it. I think Jim Davis said in a 2018 interview, it's still four years away or something. And then it was announced that Mark Dindal, I, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but he, he worked on uh, The Emperor's New Groove. He was announced as director, and then uh, we had the big shocking news that Chris Pratt was going to voice Mario in the Mario movie, and now he's going to voice Garfield too. So it's like uh, two of Guinea Pig Dan's uh, favorite characters as a kid, Garfield and Mario, are now being merged together thanks to Chris Pratt. You know, there's been a lot of uh, uh, people getting upset about it because, uh, you know, once again, you know, an animation studio has chosen, you know, a Hollywood actor over, you know, an actual voice actor instead of, you know, having Frank Welker reprise his role as Garfield. And uh, Charles Martinet, I think he's getting like a cameo in the Mario movie, but he's not Mario himself. And um, I guess, you know, as the biggest Garfield fan in the world, I guess I'd finally put out my own hot take. Uh, my reaction is, uh, wait and see. Yeah, I, I don't really have any strong feelings. I do feel like uh, uh, Frank Welker kind of got the short end of the stick, you know, not being asked to reprise Garfield since he's been uh, doing Garfield's voice uh, since 2007. But um, um, on the other hand, you know, Frank Welker might not have been interested and in, or he just, I, I, I'm not sure. Maybe Frank Welker will get a cameo. I don't know, the same way Charles Martinet is going to get a cameo, but... Uh, I think it would be kind of unfair if, you know, Jim Davis got a cameo and Frank Welker wasn't asked to do anything. But, uh, um, I'm just waiting to see. I can kind of imagine Chris Pratt, you know, maybe doing a passable Garfield if he just lowered his voice a bit and, you know, talked more lazy or something. It wouldn't exactly be like, you know, Lorenzo Music, who, you know, let's be honest, he's the best Garfield voice there is. I mean, Bill Murray did a good job, but, um, he was just given poor material in the the 2004 and 2006 Garfield movies. You know, I'm I'm interested to see what direction this goes in. You know, I also know there's also controversy that Chris Pratt goes to this crazy church, and um, I don't know if uh, Pratt himself has said anything homophobic or whatever, but um, I don't really care about the religious beliefs of uh, celebrities. You know, unless it's like they, they start doing something really harmful, like promoting Scientology or whatever. I'm just waiting to see. Let's see. I, I don't know when the Garfield movie's supposed to come out, if it's 2022, which would coincide with Jim Davis's statement that it was four years in the making, or maybe 2023, I don't know. I, I just hope it's better than the 2004 and 2006 Garfield movies, because uh, those weren't really good. I, I will say, I guess I'll comment on uh, Garfield's appearance, like they also shared what Garfield will look like in the Alcon Entertainment Garfield movie. I don't know, it's kind of taking the realism of the 2004 Garfield, you know, with the hair, but, but cartoonifying it, so it looks kind of like... Um, Detective Pikachu and uh, the Sonic movie, you know, that art style, so I like it. The, my only problem is, um, for some reason, Garfield's eyebrows don't look furry, so that that's kind of weird, like, he's fuzzy all over except on his eyelids. No, not his eyebrows, I mean his eyelids. And uh, also, I think his legs are a little too short. You know, I, I just, um, you look at artwork of Garfield, you know, his legs are a little longer than you know, what the CGI model is here, but anyway, um, I'm interested to see what they do for the Garfield movie. You know, I do wonder who they're going to cast as Odie and John. Are they going to have Greg Berger come back as Odie, who is, who's been voicing Odie since, like, the 80s and went on the TV specials and uh, Garfield and Friends, or are they going to, like, replace Odie with, um, uh, replace Greg Berger with someone else? Like, I don't know, Tom Holland is the voice of Odie. Oh, shit, I better not jinx that. And uh, John, I don't know. Um, I, I'm, they're probably not going to bring back Tom Hughie as John because he hasn't voiced John in, like, since uh, 1994. I just hope that, you know, the Alcon Entertainment Garfield movie is good. So, um, I guess maybe um, I'll do a review of it when it comes out, whenever that is, and I'll probably do a, a re-review of the 2004 Garfield movie to uh, update, you know, Guinea Pig Dan's old review from 2014, and eventually a review of Garfield, A Tale of Two Kitties. And, uh, yeah, I have a lot of video plans that I haven't gotten to because I'm just too lazy. All right, bye, everybody. Hey Garfield, before I end this video, can you a answer me something? Is the Alcon Entertainment Garfield movie going to be an adaptation of Garfield's Judgment Day? You know, Jim Davis's original idea for a Garfield movie? Or is it an original story? What? Come on Garfield, why are you being so secretive? I mean, it makes me mad that you didn't tell me Chris Pratt was going to be your voice. You know all these secrets, and you don't share them with me. Aren't I your biggest fan in the world? 
Oh, jeez.